We all bring AI into our designing, our animation, and basically our whole business. And you have probably seen AI create cool images and text. But what if it could build awesome 3D walls, fully textured, animated, and ready to use in games on videos? And all you gotta do is type in few words. This incredible tool called Messy AI will create the most running 3D models in just minutes. Absolutely no coding, just one nice prompt, and you will get the best response. But as nice and easy as this looks, we really need to make the best of it. And for that, in in this video, we are going to look at some of its remarkable features and also show you some of the results it's produced. So let's get into it. So first up is the best AI-powered 3D models generator for designers. According to its homepage, millions of game developers, gaming studios, 3D printing, fans, and extra producers worldwide rely on this platform. It can turn words into 3D models, convert uploaded photos into 3D, build texture from text, and even animated 3D characters. So let's make a purchase and navigate to the dashboard. Okay, the dashboard includes tools for creating 3D models from text and photos, AI texturing, and the text to voxel tool. There's also a community gallery where you can browse models created by other users. And of course, you can search them using keywords or usernames. You can explore, view, and even download several models for inspiration. Messy AI also provides a huge learning hub that includes tutorials, blog entries, documentation, and the help center. In addition, there are several programs including the Creator Program and the Fellowship Program. You can also get plugins for Blender, Unity, and Apple Vision Pro. Now let's get into 3D generation. Here you can choose between the text to 3D and image to 3D tools. There's also an examples option where you can use the pre-made prompts or learn how to write effective prompts for messy AI. So for now, let's make a basic 3D model of a cube, 2 by 2 centimeters with sharp corners. Next, we will select a private license. Also, if necessary, you can use a CC by 4.0 license. Just hover over the little eye icon to view a description of this option. We will set symmetry to auto. And if you want consistent results across multiple generations, enable the fixed option. Let's get started. The process takes around a minute and requires 10 tokens. The tech work quickly and our 3D models is ready in under a minute. Messy AI has produced four variations of the cube we asked for. The first one perfectly suits the prompt, a sharp edge cube. The second ones have somewhat rounded corners. And because the first one satisfies our condition, we can choose it and certify the generation. We can change the desired poly count in a little pop-up window, lowering or raising it, and selecting between fixed and adaptive mode. Additionally, we may ask the AI tool to create texture for a cube. Let's try that and see what happens. Texture generation like model generation consumes 10 tokens. Now I will press the confirm button and wait for the results. Let's check how successfully Messy AI performed. It applied texture on the cube, which can be turned on and off with this button to switch between material preview and solid mode. The cube has crisp edges, is symmetrical, and exactly fulfills our desire. We can also enable the grid to check the cube's alignment and use auto rotate to make the model spin automatically. All of this is possible through the display system. We can employ PBR setting, apply transition, or switch to Albedo display mode. The ability to share, add to rated assets, and publish to the community via Sketchfab makes your model a favorite. And we can also change the texture by using the re texture option. The second technique to adjust texture is to create a new prompt and describe the desired result. We can even use a negative prompt or submit our on drawing as a texture if you want to exclude certain aspects. Let's give our cube a smiling face for instant. The process of generating real texture starts now. It takes a little time. Messy AI supplies various versions that we can use on our object. Now let's switch to the other tools and close down the texture generator. There's a remiss feature on its sides but in its sub menu we can change the target poly count. We can choose between fixed and adaptive options. We can also vary the topology choosing between quad and triangular modes. And since we have already changed the texture, we can now stylize the model using either the art style or the PBR style. And the best part, this feature feature simply requires processing time and is totally free. The model can also be animated, we will go into that next. And this is what Messy AI has generated. The first model looks somewhat like a medieval knight through not quite the armored warrior I envision. The second one comes much closer with a design that truly really captures the essence of classic knight armor. To complete our knight design, I will go ahead and add a texture to the second version. And that's my favorite. And this is the outcome after creating the character and applying materials. Messy AI chose to add a human head to the model. Its base structure is visible if texture mode is disabled. Let's now experiment with the animation feature. The model must first be rigged for animation. We can select between a humanoid and a quadruped dog. Since our Terminator is humanoid, we will choose that. Additionally, we may align the model precisely using coordinates value by adjusting the center line. 
Market placement is a next stage. Important movement points must be positioned at the picture indicates. These are the points that identify the joints like the knees, wrists and elbows that will flex. After everything is configured, we click confirm and wait for the generation. Our animated terminator has finally arrived. We can choose from a variety of actions in the sidebar, walking, dancing and many more pre-programmed motions. And here's our terminator dancing. We can also select a category and access a whole library of animations. There are honestly many to pick from. And we can even find animation we used before. Now let's talk about the image to 3D tool. This is where Messi really flex its creative muscles. Got a sketch, a photo or even a doodle on a napkin uploaded and Messi transformed that 3D image into a fully realized 3D model. I tested it with a cartoon character, a goofy big eye creature I found online. In moments, Messi gave me 4 3D versions, it captures the character's charm. The first was perfect with the same wide eyes and cheeky grin. It was hilarious and showed how Messi can take even a rough sketch and it turned into something you will see in a game on animation. This is a game changer for concept artists, edgy drapes or anyone who wants to skip the serious modeling process and go straight from idea to 3D asset. Now let's trace the AI texturing tool. We are continuing to dig dive into Messi AI features. This time a 3D model with a maximum file size of 50 MB must be uploaded. The object can be FBX, OBJ, STL or other formats. I have a small Dragon STL model ready. In the name field, I will enter Dragon. We can either let Messi AI use its own UB map for texturing or add an original one. For our STL model, let's explore what kind of texture it can produce. Alright, so finally, why do you really need to try Messi AI? The main reason is it creates the best 3D creation experience for everyone. You don't need a jiggly in computer graphics, you don't need a monster piece, you just need a concept and a cover of minutes. Whether you are creating a game, printing a custom figurine or building a virtual world, Messi makes it quick, easy and fun. If you are eager to give it a go, go to Messi.ai for free trial and start bringing your ideas to life in 3D. By the way, I have also added a link in the description so don't forget to try it out too. And if you want to learn more about AI tools like this then definitely watch this video and before going hit the subscribe button too.